is everybody doing today? Um, had a uh, serpentine belt on the 40 broke yesterday or last night, so I put that on. Got a couple of pins I need to replace for the latches for the bucket, so get that done. They've been <laughs> rigged for a long time, so be nice to get that back the uh, way it's supposed to be. So we'll check back in a bit. Well, looks like it's going to be a little more fun than I thought. I'm going to have to pull this uh, mess loose for this hydraulic pump to get the belt around that crankshaft pulley. I didn't figure this was going to be an easy job, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad either. I'll check back in a while. Alright, so uh, after a little bit of dinking around, I was going to, well I took these bolts out, I was going to try to pull this whole bracket out. That wasn't working. So I did a little looking and uh, here there's only two bolts, well I've seen these two bolts on here, but yeah that just sits in there. So I pulled this uh, hydraulic pump out and had just enough room to snake that belt in there. And got that all worked through and on. So uh, a little bit of messing around, but I got awful I guess, so I'm going to put this pump back on and tighten all this stuff back down that I didn't have to take loose. <laughs> the way she goes. So we'll check back again in a while. And these are the pins I gotta change. I got, you know, I just stuck bolts in here. <laughs> it doesn't work the greatest, but it does work. Um, originally, uh, these pins, get them out of the bag for you. See, the original pins took these little, uh, goofy clips on both sides and they, these are snap rings here they originally had those uh, E clips I guess you call them so these ought to work a little better but yeah they had a clip on each side and they'd fall out or rust out and lose the pin so the new ones here actually have a back to them so they should stay in there a little better so snap rings would be a little better set up too they will take care of that problem got that back going. Uh, hasn't started storming yet because it sounds like they pushed the storms back till the day, so <coughs> maybe we'll get something else accomplished today, it's hard to say. Let's see what happens. Alright, got a little work done on the SC yesterday. I got all the pistons out. Bad thing. Yeah, that one looks pretty well shook, and then we got uh, this one here. He's still stuck in the sleeve. <laughs> so, this next thing, uh, I'm going to order a, go ahead and order an overhaul kit for it. I'm going to try to get this uh, out of here. I'm going to try to keep this connecting rod. I tried heating it up once. Hitting on it and uh, it won't budge. <laughs> Might have to take it to somebody with a press, maybe. Either that or maybe a guy puts a cut down that sleeve and chips it away. I don't like the pistons any good, so um, yeah, I guess I'll have to measure things up and see what I need for uh, bearing size and whatnot and all that good stuff and get some parts ordered. So, other than that, and uh, cleaning out that oil pan and there's a lot of rust down in there where that uh, sleeve came out clean that all up and there won't be too much going on in here for a little while until I get uh, parts ordered and they show up the overhaul kits ain't that bad uh, one I saw was like 540 bucks but uh, I don't know if that uh, came with the gaskets and stuff so we'll see it ain't uh, ungodly expensive so that was kind of a plus I guess so anyways guess for now uh, gotta try to fix a leak on my hydro and 
Let me see if I can uh, get some other stuff worked on here while training. This line here is leaking out of this fitting. I'll pull that off, see what we got going on. Well, from what I can tell, this flare is a little wonky. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to do is wrap the back side of this flare with Teflon tape and put a little Teflon tape on that fitting. See if we can stop her up. I think this is something somebody cobbled together to fix a leak. They got a couple compression fittings here. And then this piece that they must have flared out with a tool. So see what happens. Alrighty, we got her back on. Um, I ended up having to uh, take some of that Teflon tape off back there. It was a little too thick. It wouldn't squish down. So. I'm going to be surprised if this actually works, but you never know. <laughs> Sometimes guys got to get lucky. So I'll get her fired up and uh, we'll see if she's running. She was running pretty good yesterday. So. Oh, looks good so far. Let's see what happens after mix a load of feed. Good so far. Alright, uh, well I got all my uh, cam rollers for the pickup of the merger. But before I start working on that, I've got two bearings out on this disc. So, better get that done because uh, as soon as it dries up again, this thing it ever warms up and stays warm. It was warm this morning, but the uh, temperature's dropping all day, so. Um, I start working, we got a little bit of oats and peas to put in. Not a, not a whole lot this year, unfortunately. Um, about six acres or so, so. So this needs done first. So anyway, I'll, uh, get going on here. See what we get into. Alrighty, so, got that bearing out there. And, uh, normally what I'll do is, uh, Take that off, slide that out, and then uh, take these loose and just slide that bracket out, get at that bearing. But uh, this has all been welded on. So, what I'll have to do is uh, take that off and uh, try to drive that shaft out. And they can be a real bear sometimes. Alright, well, I got my. Uh, Nut broke loose on the outside and the outside piece is off. I'm gonna have to replace that disc blade there, which is gonna work out because I gotta pull that shaft out anyway, so it's right there. Um, so what I'll do next is uh, got my big cresser wrench on the nut there up against the ground and go through with a pipe wrench and make sure all those centers are turning. Because if they ain't turning, that shaft ain't going nowhere. So oh, I will uh, finish up those and uh, get them wiggled around a little bit and see if I can slide that shaft out of there. Okay, she's being stubborn. <laughs> As always. So, I got the nut spot on there. I'll put them on backward. Spin them up pretty well flush. And I like to use a block of wood anyways. Be on the safe side. I had that mess last year where whoever owned it before me had that end of that shaft just tore up something fierce, so we don't want to do that. This little girl here, a uh, little four pound sledge that uh, don't seem to be doing her, so I'm gonna break out Betty Lou here. That's a 20 pound sledge, that'll move stuff. <laughs> Well, we're making progress. It's coming, it's taking its time, but it's coming. Um, 
I like to, after I hit on it for a while, make sure that nut turns nice and free yet. Make sure I ain't boogering anything up. Uh, once we get to there, I might have to get a great big punch put on the center here. Not too big though, I don't want to distort any of that outside. Hopefully by the time we slide that far, it'll uh, have freed up enough, it'll come on its own a little better. And uh, just got to get those flanges off on the outside and put the bearing in. Figure out what I'm going to do for a disc blade. We've got an old disc sitting down in the woods, down in the trees. Um, it's got some blades on it that'll work. Blades are about a uh, local dealer, about $36 a piece. I only need the one. And the problem is these blades are probably all wore down a half, three quarter inch to what a new one is. And I'm sure that disc we got sitting has got blades the same size. I know it's a lot of dinking around, but might go that route. Then I'll have a, a bunch of blades. I got one with a chip out of it, but I ain't too worried about that. But So, we'll see. Sounds like it's raining pretty good again. Alright, well, we're done with chores for the night. Um, didn't get a whole lot done. Or more done on the disc anyways. Um, I got that bearing. I thought really I can get those flanges off and stuff. And uh, I guess tomorrow try to get down and drag that other disc out of the weeds see if we can uh, salvage some blades off of that see how that looks go from there uh, supposed to be wind advisory 40 50 60 mile an hour wind gusts all that crap for tomorrow so and colder too it, whew, it cooled right down today it was 63 this morning when I went out and uh, we're down to, I think it's 33 right now, so it's uh, quite the temperature change. Plus the rain and all the crap, and it's a really crappy spring, really. <laughs> Just warm up and stay warm, or stay cold or something, but uh, what do you do? So anyways, I uh, guess we'll call this good enough. I uh, hope I'm not boring you guys too much with... Uh, wrenching on stuff and <laughs> cobbling stuff together is normally what I do. I'll <laughs> uh, we'll get some parts ordered for that uh, little SC hopefully here in the next few days. Uh, I need to get some parts ordered for that tanker, get that going. I'll have to go in there and shovel that, shovel the sand and solids out of there. There's not a ton in there, but should get her cleaned out anyway. So uh, I guess we'll call her good enough for now and uh, check back in a few days and uh, thanks for watching and cheers we'll catch everybody later